With nearly 18 million new jobs, wages rising at more than twice the rate of inflation, the highest home ownership in history, the smallest welfare rolls in 30 years, and the lowest peacetime unemployment since 1957, I stand before you to report that America has created the longest peacetime economic expansion in our history. For the first time in three decades, the budget is balanced from a deficit of $290 million just 10 billion years ago. Billion dollars. What? $290 billion. What did I say? It said million, but let's move on. I said million? Yep. <clears throat> from a deficit of $290 billion just 10, you know, it says million on the teleprompter, by the way. Sam, our fault. Let, let, let's take it back. <laughs> <coughs> Mr. Speaker, Mr. Vice President, Members of the 106th Congress, distinguished guests. Doesn't look so good. Yeah. He's pale and he's sweating. I know. You think he's getting sick? I don't know. Or his glands swollen? Damn. What? You know what I forgot to do today? What? I forgot to feel the president's glands. Do you think the joke reflex you use as a defense mechanism is why you have so much trouble keeping a man? You know. I'm saying we're 44 hours away from the State of the Union. He doesn't look so good. Make the American dream of opportunity a reality for all. I came to this hollow chamber one year ago, and I see we're spelling hollowed with a pound sign in the middle of it. We'll fix that. The pound sign silent. Move on, Mr. President. I came to this hollow chamber one year ago on a mission to restore the American dream for all our people as we gaze at the vast horizon of possibilities open to us in the 321st century. Wow, that was ambitious of me, wasn't it? Leo, let's take a break. We met stronger here, right? What's it say? I'm proud to report our country stranger than it was a year ago. That's a typo. Could go either way. Sam, take care of it. Mr. President? Yes, sir. How do you feel? Why is everyone asking me that today? Well, you don't look so good. I'm fine. You're pale and you're perspiring. I'm fine. You should be taking something, sir. I am taking many things, CJ. What are you taking? I don't know. My wife hands me pills. I swallow them with water. Sir. Vitamin C, vitamin B. Is it possible I'm taking something called euthanasia? Echinacea? Ah, that sounds more like it. Toby. Yes, sir. Mr. President. I'm taking pills, CJ. Are you actually taking them or are you just carrying them around in your pocket? You know, carrying them around in my pocket was a pretty big step for me. You gotta take the pills. Toby. Yeah. How do we make the American dream a reality for all who work for it? Oh, come you gotta on. Add who work for it, sir. That was me. We decided this two months ago. We've seen some pretty compelling polling samples. We need people who work for it. And I'll tell you what else. Come come on. On. The era of big government is over. Oh, when did this happen? This morning, we had a meeting. We decided to offend poor people? The people we're offending won't be watching the State of the Union. Yeah, I can't imagine why not. It's what they're listening for on welfare reform, so screw it. All right. But when you get visited in the middle of the night by the ghost of Christmas future, don't come running to me. Damn, Toby, because you're exactly who I was going to come running to. You don't look so good. Well, I'm gazing into the 321st century, man. <laughs> There's a lot on my mind. Let's finish up in here. Mr. President? Oh, dear God. I will take the pills, CJ. Will you take them now? Yes, I will go into the Oval Office and pour a glass of water from the Steuben glass pitcher, which was a gift from the Christian Charity Network there, Skippy. Mr. President? I'm just saying, before you start calling me Ebenezer Bartlett, remember, I got a really nice glass pitcher for just, you know, being a good guy. Well, you turned me right around on that one, Mr. President. Sir? I will take the pills. You know, here's the thing. We haven't been invited. What do you mean? Technically, the Speaker of the House invites the President to deliver the State of the Union. And we haven't been invited yet. Not yet. Is somebody seeing to this? I'll take care of it. Good, because, you know, we want to be able to report that the country's a lot stranger than it was a year ago. <laughs> I'm never going to live it down. Breathe <laughs> <laughs> down. Get a doctor. Yes, sir. 